Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP. Watch the video to the end to like and subscribe. Correlating with the broader trend, XRP fell sharply after losing the $0.7 Seven zone. XRP steadily declined, outlining a three-month resistance of the trend line, yellow dotted line. Meanwhile, buyers sought to find a convincing close above the baseline, green, Bollinger Bands, BB. But bearish efforts suppressed the chances of a return of purchases. Closing above or below the immediate resistance of the trend line will be crucial to determine the upcoming movements. At the time of publication, XRP was trading at $0.3219, up 3.28% over the past 24 hours. The long-term bearish rally formed a three-month resistance that limited buying efforts on the daily chart. After hitting a 16-month low of $0.33 on June 18, XRP bounced back from the support of $0.3, but with a stable Fibonacci level of 61.8%, altcoin saw an expected bearish breakout in the form of a pennant on the chart. Thus, a drop below the 20 EMA and the BB baseline. Price action has turned into a challenging sport. A drop from the 23. 6% level may help sellers use XRP to retest the $0. 29 zone near the checkpoint, Piozzi, red. Next to this area, the alt can continue its sluggish phase. An immediate recovery will help buyers test the 38. 2% level around $0. 34. Buyers should wait for a reliable close above the trendline resistance before making calls. The relative strength index, RSI, continued to show a bearish bias after falling below the midline. A stable position above the support of 36 marks will help buyers keep the nearest support level on the chart. Although the CMF has dipped above the zero mark, its higher troughs have led to a bearish divergence from the price over the past few days. A reversal of XRP from the resistance of the trend line may trigger a rebound for sellers. Bearish divergence on CMF will further increase these chances. The goals will remain the same. However, keeping an eye on Bitcoin's movement and broader sentiment would be important to determine the chances of bearish invalidity. Now there is some lull in the court, but the upcoming events will cause a real storm, since the judge's decision regarding Hinman's letters is expected from day to day. The judge must decide whether documents related to Hinman's speech in 2018 fall under attorney-client privilege. Observers of the case do not rule out that the decision in favor of the defendants may force them to go to regulation. In 2018, the former head of the corporate finance department, Oylem Hinman, speaking at one of the events, said that Bitcoin and Ethereum are not securities. As a result, the Securities and Exchange Commission has filed more than 200 petitions regarding documents related to the speech of a businessman, so that they do not fall into the hands. It is believed that in these documents, among other things, there are conclusions that XRP is also not a common paper. Ripple has added two more Kylie numbers Kim and Clayton J. to strengthen its team. Masterman from the company Kellogg Hansen, which specializes in complex litigation and appeal processes. Judge Annalisa Torres granted their applications for admission to participate in this case. Such a step on the part of the company may indicate that the trial is likely to be delayed and the company is preparing for new turns in the case. Earlier, Chief Medical Advisor Stuart Alderotti suggested that a decision would most likely be made in 2023. Hashtag XRP Community Hashtag SSEGovGigan Hashtag Ripple Hashtag XRP's Vianne Wald von Kellogg Hansen Haben Antrich of Zulisum Zur Vertretung von Ripple Gestalt. Bitby Grussen See Kylie Kim UND Clayton Masterman. Biographian UND Offna Mintridge Sind und Ten Offsford. The Ripple X Development Division has announced that the team has conducted thorough performance testing, and we are confident in the ability of Hashtag XRPL to support XLS20. In a recent tweet, the company announced that the development of a new support system has been completed. This follows a proposal called XLS20, which recommends enabling native NFT support in XRPL. Unser team hat streng Leistungstest Sturchgefurt UND were sin zuversiklik, das die hashtag XRPL XLS20 unterstützen can. Are far mehr über die Urgebnis? To prove its bravery, the company also announced plans to publish the test results for everyone to see. This is one of the leading companies engaged in blockchain technologies that have raised coding to a higher level. A detailed description of testing methodologies and test results can be found here. Descriptions include the testing environment, screenshots of running code, and various workloads related to testing, XRP payments, NFT offers, NFT chasing, and a combination of payments and offers. Just included measuring NFT throughput by creating 1 million account records. Each of these credit records was tasked with minting 20 NFT, bringing the total number of NFT issued to 20 million. To measure throughput, a proposal was created for each NFT, 
and then it was accepted, and two transactions were made in the process. It was found that the workload was processed within 751 seconds. Another test was conducted by mixing XRP payments with NFT offers and accepting them. It made four transactions, two XRP payments and a couple of transactions for offer and acceptance. The workload took 1,064 seconds. While the good news presents high-level solutions for scaling XRPL, it remains to be seen how the system will work tactically after full deployment. Nevertheless, the community seems happy to welcome NFT support in the system. As already mentioned, XRP will be its own currency for buying or selling NFT on RXPL, which can significantly increase the capacity and distribution of the coin. XRP has also been accepted into RippleNet, where various financial institutions can initiate a quick and convenient cross-border transfer of funds with XRP as the base currency. Ripple has also been at the forefront of supporting the creation of CBDC in Europe. Digital Euro Association DEA, announced in its tweet that the blockchain company and the payment giant is one of the sponsors of the summer event, which will begin next week. Next week we are hosting our first of many DEA summer events, generously sponsored by Adia News, at Ripple and Bundestruckery and organized in collaboration with its blockchain, the group tweeted. We express our gratitude to our sponsors who make a decisive contribution to the success of the summer festival. As we reported earlier, on February 11th of this year, DEA entered into a partnership with SA. Ripple, by the way, is the only partner of the association, which has received the golden status. DEA is an independent analytical center that contributes to the development of Digital Digital through research and educational strategies. We are pleased to join Digital Euro Verenigung as a supporting partner to further develop our work in the field of CBDC. The DEA is working in Europe and in global markets to stimulate the development and growth of CBDC and, in particular, digital banking, commented James Hollis, Ripple's vice president for interaction with central banks. Ripple has long supported the idea of CBDC. In addition to the DEA, the company also boasts a partnership with Verenigung Digitaler Fund, which it joined in 2021. Chromagogo also has experience working with governments of various countries to develop CBDC solutions. Earlier this month, the payment giant launched a CBDC hackathon called Welligite CBDC in Averin with an initial prize pool of $47,000, and the winners of this event will be invited to Ripple CBDC in Averin near Gewinner Verenstaltung with a bigger prize pool of $150,000. The hackathon will focus on interoperability, retail and financial integration. Currently, China is significantly ahead of other developed countries in the development of CBDC, as it has already begun to conduct large-scale tests. Others remain at different stages of CBDC implementation. Earlier this year, the U.S. Federal Reserve published a document on this issue, but refrained from expressing an official position, urging the public to express their opinion. Meanwhile, in his famous cryptocurrency executive order in March, Biden called on relevant government agencies to seriously consider the idea. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end, if you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.